All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Monday, January 6, 2020, and things are looking kind of crazy. And we're going to need to cover a lot of stuff here, so let's do that. Uh, right now, as I am doing this video blog, stock futures are pointing towards a triple-digit loss for stocks. Cryptocurrencies are catching a very nice bid. Gold, silver, higher, crude oil higher. Just things that you would imagine would happen now that the rhetoric between Washington and Iran is, is reaching a fever pitch. President Trump over the weekend is now threatening to strike dozens of targets in Iran and of course Iran's firing back. Now I want to read something to you real quick so you uh, have an idea what's going on here. So the Iraqi parliament passed a resolution calling for US troops to be expelled. Well this is a little article I wrote titled US troops will never be expelled from the Middle East. Now just bear with me a minute. So US troops will never be expelled from any part of the Middle East. The petrodollar accord demands that US that the US military protect the oil of OPEC nations. Protect. Okay. <laughs> um, this is the sole reason why the US dollar is the world reserve currency, and even at the cost of a world war, the United States will never leave the Middle East. Now I go on to say, are we really going to allow them, you know who they are, to drag us into another war? And I say, yep, that's exactly what we will do. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. And where does the cash come from to fund it? The central banks. This is how they, the central banks, will issue in their final solution to be the lenders and buyers of last resort, creating legions of nation and individual debt slaves on a global scale. The lies and propaganda is about to hit a fever pitch. Now, here, the United States is and has been moving vast amounts of military hardware into the Middle East for many months. And as I discussed when this all started on this blog, uh, I explained that what we are seeing now would happen. The goal here, people, is perpetual war. No endeavor on earth generates more cash for the military industrial complex than perpetual and escalating wars. I think you get it. Um, that's where we're going. This is the end game. This is the final solution. It's, uh, this military buildup has been going on for a very long time and it's not over by a long shot. So uh, let's keep our eyes on this. Now, we had a sell-off with regard to this stock market on Friday. We have it looks like a sell-off here at least in the morning today. Uh, this shouldn't surprise you. I explained to you that it looked highly probable that we were going to get a drop in the market come this month. And people look, I don't want to sound like a perma bull here, but in this environment where we have crude oil cr creeping up, we got the Fed in here. I'm telling you, they're already gone nuclear. They're going to go hyper nuclear, supernova. Where are stocks going? Stocks are going to shrug this off and hit new record highs in short order. Unless, of course, unless, of course, a major black swan event occurs uh, and we get a serious escalation in military uh, conflicts, uh, then we'll have to see. But right now, right here and now, the trajectory for the market is higher. This pullback is bullish. This is engineered. Do you not believe that the, these uh, airstrikes, the killing of this guy here, was all factored into the market in a big think tank, include, which included the president? Of course, this was all thought out. Every scenario has been uh, measured. Again, there's always that that thing, that outlier, the fog of war, uh, which, which in which anything can happen that is unforeseen, okay? 
So with that said, let's see where this goes here. And again, if you're an intraday trader like myself, you don't give a damn if stocks go up or down at all. You laugh at the whole thing. You sit back like me and you laugh at it. Although it's disgusting and vomitous to think about death and pain and suffering upon humanity that these war pigs are, are, are pushing on humanity and the people of the world. And they're going to get theirs in the end. I can promise you that. No doubt about it. Um, anyway, uh, cryptocurrencies, like I said, place to be, uh, metals, obviously the place to be, trade this market, make it work for you. All right. Don't lay down here like the sheep outside my window, uh, and, and let this shear you. It ain't happening. Um, no way, just no possible way. This guy loves you a lot. Please share the video. I'll see you at the end of the day.